Dubai is no stranger when it comes to building record-breaking and sometimes even downright insane megaprojects. And while looking at its skyline today might already be impressive, the city's development is far from finished. From the world's largest ocean restoration project to a grand urban master plan that will fundamentally change the city forever, today we're bringing you closer to the Dubai of 2040. Looking at pictures of Dubai from 50 years ago, it wouldn't be surprising for one to mistake it for a completely different place. Located within one of the most unforgiving regions on Earth, the city's success can only be described as a miracle. What once was just a small port city by the Arabian Gulf has now become one of the most luxurious places on Earth. From the world's tallest skyscraper to entirely man-made archipelagos, Dubai is constantly pushing the limits of what's possible in construction and architecture. But to understand why the city has transformed so much so quickly, we first have to look at how it got here. After the discovery of oil during the 1960s, infrastructure development in the region accelerated at an unprecedented rate. The city's population exploded from only 60,000 residents to nearly a million by the turn of the century. Dubai soon began the process of transforming itself as the tourism capital of the region. Back then, ambitious megaprojects were a huge success, such as the Burj Khalifa, the Dubai Mall, Palm Jumeirah, and, well, many, many more. But in recent years, this dynamic has slowly changed, with neighboring countries such as Qatar and Saudi Arabia also competing for global recognition. Additionally, many projects in Dubai have also been put on hold, or turned out to be maybe a bit too ambitious. So, is Dubai's transformation coming to an end? Well, not exactly, but their image of the future has changed. So here are the most impressive megaprojects of future Dubai, starting off with the Dubai Reef. This will be a 200 square kilometer artificial reef project that will wrap across the entire city's coast. To put this into perspective, this project alone will cover an area more than five times the entire city of Dubai itself. It's planned for the reef to be the home of a total of 1 billion corals and more than 100 million mangrove trees. But why are they doing it? One major problem that Dubai is trying to solve is the adverse effect of their megaprojects on the environment, more specifically to marine life. The Palm and World Islands are a testament to Dubai's economic status. From an engineering perspective, they're impressive and truly unique. But the creation of these islands has had a significant impact on the surrounding waters, killing coral and severely disrupting entire underwater ecosystems. Because of this, Dubai is proposing a radical megaproject that they hope will restore the Emirates' coastal waters. And that's why the Dubai reefs will stretch across the entire coast. The project will also include a series of floating islands that will house facilities for marine research and tourism. At the center of this enormous development will be a marine institute that will be responsible for the protection of Dubai's coastal ecosystem. Ideally, once completed by 2040, the Dubai Reef will serve as a quote-unquote blueprint for ocean living while mitigating the impacts of climate change. Continuing with this theme, Dubai follows up with the so-called Dubai Loop, a 90-kilometer-long covered urban highway, but with a small twist. It's not for cars. Instead, it's for walking and cycling. The idea was to connect more than 3 million residents using modes of transportation that are both healthy and environmentally friendly. But with the hottest average temperatures going as high as 40 degrees Celsius in the summer, Dubai isn't exactly a place you'd want to walk or cycle in. So in order to solve this obvious problem, the creators of the loop devised a simple yet insane solution. Make the entire highway completely indoors and climate controlled. You heard that right. The entire 90 kilometer stretch will enjoy a climate controlled environment that runs 24 seven. Aside from its climate control features, the loop will also have mixed-use infrastructure, providing leisure and wellness facilities for their residents. There will also be indoor parks, which can be used for recreational activities and social gatherings. This massive structure would snake around the entire city and connect major urban areas to each other. According to its creators, the loop will entirely be powered through renewable energy and will even have kinetic flooring. Through this system, vibrations from walking and cycling can be converted into electricity that will power the indoor highway. To make this possible, a deep understanding of science and engineering is necessary. And luckily, there's an easy and free way to learn about this. 
This is where we want to introduce our sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is a great platform that makes learning math, data science, and computer science easy for everyone. With interactive online courses, you can get yourself ready for your next test or develop high-value skills for your career. Brilliant offers thousands of interactive lessons for learners at every stage. Whether you're just starting out or already have advanced knowledge, from engineering and math to how everyday technology works, new lessons are added each month. For example, we got a deeper understanding of skyscrapers in the Physics of the Everyday course. There, we learned about the impact of wind on skyscrapers and how mass dampers work. Compared to our usual online research, this was an interactive and fun way to gain background knowledge that we can use for our next video about skyscrapers. Join now and take a quick quiz to get lessons tailored to your skills and interests, allowing you to learn at your own speed. Get started by visiting brilliant.org slash top luxury or clicking the link in the description. You get a 30-day free trial and the first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Thanks for supporting us. And now let's continue with the Dubai Moon. If the recently unveiled Las Vegas Sphere wasn't impressive enough for you, then Dubai has got something even crazier. At more than 200 meters across, this scaled model of the moon would be even bigger than the MSG Sphere in Las Vegas, and also more than twice as expensive. This $5 billion real estate project by Canadian firm Moon World Resorts will become the newest addition to Dubai's long list of insane megaprojects. The Moon will be a luxury hotel and resort that boldly claims it will be able to let guests experience space travel from Earth. Constructed on top of a 30-meter foundation, the Moon will consist of 4,000 rooms and an arena with a capacity for 10,000 people. Aside from the proposed location in Dubai, there are also plans to build other moon resorts around the world. The structure's exterior will shine brightly at night and could even accurately simulate the different phases of the moon. This will be done using similar technology to that of the Las Vegas Sphere. However, unlike its American rival, the moon will not only be bigger in size, it will also be a complete sphere from top to bottom. Next up is the Dubai Healthcare City. This is a futuristic floating island supposed to provide both quality healthcare and luxurious living. The project is designed to bring out the best qualities of Dubai into one ambitious work of architecture. Compared to the other mega projects in this video, the Dubai Healthcare City is only a proof of concept. Many aspects of its design make use of technology that is still not available. However, it's still interesting to imagine what Dubai might look like in the far future. The entire city complex will resemble that of a crescent shape, incorporating Islamic design elements and Dubai's luxurious architectural style. The project is divided into three major components, which will be the primary use of the entire city. At the center will be a massive skyscraper, serving as an education and research institute. This central building will rise more than 160 meters above the water and have a total floor area of as much as 1 million square meters. It will primarily be used for educational activities, research and development, exhibitions, and will even house a science and technology park. Surrounding the central skyscraper will be 14 smaller individual towers, which will each specialize in different medical functions. Finally, at the two outer reaches of the crescent will be 24 hotels, symmetrically framing the towering centerpiece. Aside from developments above ground, the entire project will also be accessible through a dedicated underwater highway and transportation system. The city will make use of futuristic modes of transport and create infrastructure for a monorail system. If you enjoyed this so far, consider subscribing to Top Luxury. On top of all these future mega projects, Dubai is also planning to fundamentally transform the city from the ground up. Similar to Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030, the Emirate of Dubai has laid out a comprehensive plan that aims to fix many of the city's problems, the so-called Dubai 2040 Urban Master Plan. It has one simple or not so simple vision to reshape Dubai into one of the most livable cities in the world. But what does that mean and how exactly will they do that? One major goal of this master plan is the redevelopment of three major urban areas to serve as their own city centers. Along with these, two new urban hubs will be developed, the Expo 2020 Center to the south and the Dubai Silicon Oasis Center to the east. 
The creation of these new city centers aims to improve the efficiency of Dubai. This will be done by designating specific areas in the city for different purposes. To connect each of these new city centers, the newly planned loop will certainly help. But on top of that, Dubai wants to create an extensive public transit network across the entire city. By 2040, the city aims to completely transform its notoriously confusing and disjointed road and transportation network. Their goal is to become a 20-minute city with focus on sustainable rapid transit systems and cycling and pedestrian infrastructure. Finally, in order to enhance the quality of life of its residents, Dubai aims to double the size of its green areas. Over the next two decades, the Emirate plans to allocate 60% of all of its land and transform it into nature reserves and wildlife sanctuaries. By creating more of these green spaces and public parks, they hope to transform into a thriving oasis. Moreover, other important sectors such as education and health will all receive a substantial increase in dedicated land area. As it stands, Dubai's transformation is unprecedented when it comes to record-breaking architecture and engineering. And even though it has already proven to the world that it's capable of building insane megaprojects, there is still plenty more to be done. So what do you think about this development? Do you think these megaprojects are a good addition to the city? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.